and hefty fines for two Oahu North Shore homeowners. The DLNR has ordered them to pay nearly $1 million each for shoreline violations at their Kenui Road properties near Sunset Beach. The state says William and Melinda Kernot installed unauthorized erosion control measures and continued to perform work after the DLNR ordered them to stop. Down the road, Rodney Human was fined for creating an unauthorized seawall, placing sandbags without permission, and also ignoring repeated orders to stop. Both the Kernots and Human have requested contested case hearings. New recreational and commercial fishing rules have been approved by the state. They include a non-resident recreational marine fishing license. The cost of that license, $20 a day, $40 for seven days, and $70 for an annual license. BLNR officials also approved a license for commercial marine vessels. Fees collected are expected to generate about a million dollars a year for the state. The remote Kipahulu area on the southeast side of Maui will become the third community-based subsistence fishing area in Hawaii. These areas are established to ensure certain fish species remain abundant and to perpetuate traditional native Hawaiian fishing practices. Haena on Kauai and Milolii on Hawaii Island have been de designated as community-based subsistence fishing areas. Police are searching for a suspect after a 72-year-old man was stabbed in the back of his neck. This happened last night in the Kaka'ako area around 8.30. Police say the attack was unprovoked. The victim was wounded just to the left of his spine and was rushed to the hospital in serious condition. No details about the suspect have been made available. An attempted murder, though, uh, murder case, though, is now underway. A man was arrested after an apparent road rage incident involving a gun Saturday morning. According to a witness, the 25-year-old suspect was driving erratically on the Moanaloa Freeway in Salt Lake. Another driver, a man in his 50s, allegedly made an offensive gesture towards him. And that's when the suspect apparently pointed a firearm at the other driver. The suspect faces a terroristic threatening charge. Honolulu police are investigating after a moped rider said that he was jumped by more than a half dozen suspects at Old Stadium Park. The alleged attack happened around 6 o'clock Saturday night. Sources say the victim went into the park to relieve himself near a tree when he was hit on the head with a baseball bat. We're told the suspects got away with his moped. So over the next few days, the weather's going to be changing with a cold front dropping in tomorrow with more scattered showers likely lingering through Wednesday. We're not expecting a lot of rain, but we are expecting very gusty winds tomorrow. Southwest 15 to 25 easing up on Wednesday. Then things should dry up as we head into the weekend. Although on Sunday, another cold front starts to show up. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.